Hello everyone, welcome to Voxember. Today is part two of my lipstick declutter. This is my first drawer. You're seeing here is the back and then here is the front. We're gonna be trying to declutter. I don't know how much I'm going to declutter, but we're gonna try to see what we have and what has gone a little bit older so we could get rid of it. This is where I have my Chanel, my Dior's, my Hermes, my Tom Ford's, Charlotte Tilbury. Pat McGrath and I have some Sisley and Burberry and Gucci and a little bit of other things that right now I can't remember <laughs> so let's start I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out everything because I want to see if there's a way that I could move this up a little and fill up more of the holes back here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take out all the ones that I have here in the front and we can start from there know how I'm going to do this because I have so many and I don't think I'm gonna get rid of of much actually um, what I could do I'm gonna flip these and put the flat in the back all right let's start with this side right here. Let's start with Tom Ford's, which are the old, probably oldest. Tom Ford lipsticks tend to go bad faster, so let's see. This one still smells good. This is what shade is this? Shanghai Lily. This is the lip color satin. It's a beautiful color. I'm not gonna go one by one because then I'll be crazy. But here we have True Coral. And here we have Wilfo. Oh, I haven't even used this lipstick yet. But it still smells good. I also have this one this is brand new i haven't used it yet this is from it doesn't have a shade name on the bottom but it's like a really balmy it's like a balmy peach so i'm gonna put it in the front and then here's another this is casablanca which is my favorite tom ford lipstick This one is smelling a little bit like lipstick, but it still has a little bit more to go. So I'm gonna keep it for now and I'll declutter it soon. I'll put it here in the front. Okay, this is from, this is the Rouge Alive. I can't read the name. Oh, Scarlet, Scarlet something. Scarlet Shock, I think it is. Oh, that's the one that has like a little See the focus is like little gold specks. But I remember that yeah, I remember this one. It was a little bit it's a matte. Extreme bad. I don't remember if um I liked it or not. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna use it one more time. And then if I don't like it, then I'll declutter it. I'll take out my Hermes because I'm gonna put all my Tom Fords together. Let's go faster here. I have here from the lip color, I have Scarlet Rouge, Wild Ginger, Scarlet Rouge, I love. This is um, my second one. I've used a mini one. This one is barely used. But they still smell good. 
wow, a ginger. I love this color. Yeah, it's still good. Then we have Indian rose, it's also very beautiful, it's similar to Casablanca. It has a little bit more, more life. We'll keep it. I think I'm gonna put these in the tough front because I've had them longer and I want to use them more. And I have these little ones that I'm gonna put in the front right here because they're too short and then I don't want them to fall in. Although one of you guys, one of you ladies told me that I could put a cotton ball in the bottom, but I have do have space, so I'm gonna leave the space for the little ones. Or the ones that are too fat to fit in the little holes right here. This is Antonio Soft Matte. This is a little mini, but it's a very pretty color. I don't think I think some of these colors are not available anymore. And maybe I shouldn't keep them because I can't review it with you guys. I'm gonna get up because my back hurts. I can't review it with you guys or compare it because they're no longer in existence, but I like them. I'm gonna use them for like my own self. This is Gerard, a soft matte as well. It was a beautiful nude. And they're mini, so like really good for like to pop in your purse. And then we have Gala. Oh, I know I have a lot of reds. It's a weakness of mine. What I'm gonna do, I should organize, I can do it out of the video because then this video will be too long. But because there's little spaces here that get lost, I'm going to put in these tall ones on the side. I can still reach them. And then I could use the space for. So I could put my Hermes here. Uh, let me see if I have any more Tom Fords left around here. Oh, I do have more Tom Fords, like the little mini ones. I have West Coast. Oh, and a mini Casablanca. Oh, this one's brand new. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of the big one because I've had it for so long. It was my first Tom Ford lipstick. I'm going to get declutter this one. And then just keep the little one because it's brand new. And then West Coast, I think it's like a oh no, I thought, I thought it was a pink. It's um, it's a dark that I a color that I wouldn't normally use, so I'm gonna pass it on to my mom or somebody else. This is like really me. I put it here, and hopefully, I'm gonna be filling it out more so they won't fall out. Okay, let's go with our Hermes have all of these which i'm not gonna declutter because they're relatively new i've had them for like maybe a year and i've barely used them i know this one's rouge amazon this is my favorite i think i love it it's still good so i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna i'm gonna put it here and then we have Beige Kalahari and Rouge Cassac. This is another beautiful red. But it has like some more pink than the other one. More 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 blue than the other one. And beige Kalahari, which I love. It's a beautiful nude. I'm gonna put it in the front. And then these three, these are Satin Coral Aqua. I think that's like the hot pink one. Satin beige a bluey and satin rose oasis. No, rose oasis is the hot pink one. Which is really pretty, it's really gorgeous, but it's a color that I don't normally use. So I I think I'm gonna I'm gonna think about it because I think it's the only color I have. The only lipstick I have in that shade. Another beautiful nude. But this one's like a little bit more rose than the Kalahari one and then we have Coral Aqua it's a beautiful red orange and the packaging is so pretty 
And I know that this is really pretty, but I like to put them upside down so I could see the color. I don't know if that's good or bad for the lipstick, but it's for me to be able to see them. I'm going to put the other one that I'm thinking about. I'm going to put it here. And we'll see. We'll see what we do. Okay. Let's move on with what other brand. This is the Dior, the Chanel. And then I have Dior here. So I'm going to keep the same order. I love all my Chanel lipsticks. I'm not going to get rid of them. But I do want to just go over what I have. I have the Rouge Coco Bloom. I have more in my vanity. The Rouge Coco Flash. I have them on my vanity. These are all my Rouge Coco Flash. And I have some Rouge Allures here. I take that back. These are all Rouge Allure. And then I have my boy. Where is boy? Boy is supposed to be here. I think I have it in... Oh, I know where it is. It's in my the bag that I'm going to take for my trip. Um, this is where boy goes. Roy, boy is a... Rouge Coco, Rouge Coco Flash, if I'm not mistaken, formula. But all these are the Allure's, and they don't fit in here. Actually, I kind of could put them in here, but then the other ones won't fit. Hmm. Let me see what I could do. Let me move these forward. I used to have them in, in numerical order, but it was a little bit crazy. So I'm just going to move them up. I'm going to try to put them in. Let me see if I could. Um, I could keep on going back and forth, but I think I'm going to put them in alphabetical order. In the mark order, this is 110, 116, 124, 130. This is 999 Dior. This is not supposed to go there. 132, but then if I put it back here, I won't be able to see it. So 132 Vivacity, which I love this color. I love the formula, but this color is so pretty. I love it. This is in the Coco Flash, Coco Bloom. I'm going to put it here, 132, 134, 138, and these are the 496, 406 up here. This is the Rouge Coco Antoinette. I don't know, I think this lipstick is um kind of old. I'll still use it for a little bit, and then if they're not good, then I'll just get rid of it. I've had it for maybe like two years. 496, 10 dress. Let's do 434, 444, and 496. 444 is Gabrielle. The tip got messed up, but it's a beautiful red. I love this color. So when I put it here, I'm going to try and see if I could fit this other tray in here. But let's see. Let's, let's fix everything else, and then we'll figure it out. My 999, which is my favorite, but I want to keep them in numeric order so I could find them. Because remember, this was the other way around. This was in the front and this was in the back. And I turned them around. So I have 080. Look at that orange red. I have so many reds and oranges. I'm going to stop buying lipsticks in a lot for a while. 080. And then 348. These are my lip glosses. Like my lips. Beautiful. 348. And then 434. 458. And then let's put here 683, 884, 878, 844, 878. And then I'll put my 99 right here just because to keep it in numerical order. And then I could put these in the front. Oh, but I remember I have all these from Dior. Oh my goodness. And I have this mini from Chanel. This is 58 Rouge V. This is a really intense color. I'm going to pass this one on because it's not a color that I tend to use. Alright, so I have a few colors here from the Rouge Coco Flash. Uh, I have 170, 60, and 56. I remember 60, which is beet. I remember this shade and I like the fact that you can see the color from the top. Let me see beet. I'm going to start getting rid. This is a really beautiful color for spring. I'm going to... This is Rouge Coco Flash. Um, I don't have a lot of these, so I'm going to put them right here in the middle. I have to... I mean, I've been thinking. I have so much that I'm going to have to start being like really cutthroat and getting rid of a lot. Or passing it on to other people. I found another... Um, one of those liquid lipsticks from Dior. This one's 170 Romance. 
I really do like this formula. It's really like light. Kind of sheer, but still really nice. Um, and then I have 156 Delicates. This one I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass on. I'm going to be very cutthroat about it. I'm going to... Uh, let me swatch it. Because I'm, I'm going to swatch it because I'm debating whether to keep it or not. I mean, it's pretty, but I'll pass it on. I'll pass it on. I'm going to be cutthroat about it because otherwise I'll never... I'll never be able to organize. Number 56, Moment. Oh, I like Moment. I've used it many times. This is very... It's like a nude. This I like. It's like a step further from from boy. I put this back here, and I'll just move this a little bit forward. And then we have the liquid um, what are these called? Rouge Allure Lac, which is really really pretty. I'm going to put it with the rest of my Rouge Allure, and then my boy lipstick. I'll find it a better home. I'll put it like here in the front because I use that all the time. And I think, I think, am I able to fit this in here? Maybe not. Oh, because I have the Tom Ford on the side. I think I'm going to fit it in. I'm going to make myself fit everything together. Yes, there we go. I originally had them all together. And I'm going to have to start getting rid. I just, I can't. I can't get rid of my Chanel's and Dior's. This is, this is so 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 difficult you guys you have no idea how difficult this is all right let me just stop whining and i'm gonna go one by one and see if i want it or not chance i'm gonna have to swatch them swatch. this was like not coming out i'm gonna have to swatch all of them and see see this that's why i was leaving it for this video for the end of my decluttering because it's really difficult like this one 107 or beige. I love this shade. I love it. I use it a lot. I can't get rid of the lipstick. It has like some gold shimmer in it. It's so beautiful. Alright, let me just stop whining and just keep on decluttering. These two, I think I'm going to pass on. It's really pretty packaging, but they were kind of um, a little bit drying on me. They're the one that has like design. This came out, I don't know when this came out, but not too long ago. But I remember they were drying. They were drying on me, like matte, and I had dry lips. So I'm going to pass that on to my mom. These are shades that she would use. And then all these, what are these called? The Dior Addicts. They're all so, so pretty. Look at this color. I haven't used it yet. This is horrible. Horrible on my behalf. It's just that we try so many lipsticks and so many things come out that sometimes we miss out on using them. I'm going to move this back again, a little bit back. I'm going to put these here in the front because I do use them a lot. I want to use them more, actually. All right, and I have all these. They're all the same formula. This is 418 Beige Oblique. This one I've used many times as well. It's beautiful. It's like similar to Boy, you know, like that shade from Chanel that I love, which is my favorite lipstick of all times. I just love those colors. Let me put them um, here in the front. And once I put them on, they will all stay together. This is 740 Saddle. It's like a burnt orange. I promise you guys, 2023, I'm going to be using a different lipstick every day. This one is Dior 8, which is like the, um, the iconic red. Then we have 744, which is Diorama. Ooh, look at that. Love it. And then this is 718 Bandana. Another nude. Brown nude. 
Hopefully the camera is focusing enough that you can see what I'm showing you. And then 628 pink bow. Oops. This one has like a little bit of pink in it. You know what? I think I'm going to pass this one on actually because... Hmm, no, I'm going to pass it on nothing. Okay, so... I'll put these here in the front. I have to stop for a second and think about this. So I just thought of something. I think I'm gonna put these on the other side. I know I keep on moving them around, I'm sorry. But I do wanna make the best of the space that I have without getting rid of things that I love. I'm gonna put the Dior here against the wall, I mean the Chanel. Maybe I should put the Dior so I could put these standing up. I think that's a good idea. I'm going to put the Dior back here. And then these could go like right here next to the wall. And this one fits here. And this one, if I put it back here, it will be harder for me to reach, but I could reach it. And then I'll put the Dior here. Let's take a little bit back. Actually, actually, let's put it here. And then we'll make space right here between them. A negative space because if I go like that, then these in the back, I won't reach them. But if I move it too forward, then I am missing out here. So what I'm going to do, I'm and there's still space. So I'm going to put, oh wait, I have to put the other one. Now I take it back. I'm going to put this to the front. And I'm going to move this to the back. I like to keep brands together. So, I think that's better. I have these other ones from, I have more from, from Dior. I don't think I'm done yet. I'm not done yet with Dior. I think I have more Dior than Chanel. I don't know. I have a lot. And I'm not saying it to brag. I just, I do. This is uh, 441 min Mineral Peach Satin. I think I'm going to declutter this one if I remember. Yeah, this one is too light for me. It makes me look pale, so I'm going to pass it on. I think this one came out with uh, spring 2021, which I didn't like. So, and it's been, it's been a while, almost two years, so. 726 Bronze Satin Balm. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of this one too. The color is not... A color that I like that much it looks kind of number two I'm sorry but that's the way to describe it and on my lips I don't like the way it looks so and then we have five six five cherry topaz 565 this one also this one came out in the spring I think so I don't like it I didn't like it so I don't know why I kept it and I have another Dior Addict 745 red revolution red of course of course I have to have all the reds and then I'm gonna put this over here and then we have these are Rouge Dior Forever 647 Forever Feminine this one I remember I think it was like a little bit drying I, it's a little bit like um it's drying. I don't know how else to describe it. It's a little bit drying. No, I'm gonna pass it on. And this is 999, which is my fairy red, but it's again, it's a formula that I'm not a fan of. I'm gonna pass it on to my mom. And I say my mom because since they're used, she just wipes the top and she's good to go. And I had two more Dior's here. This is 633 Coral Satin Bomb. Didn't I already say that? Do I have it twice? A color that I don't like and twice is weird. No. I have mineral peach. This is dusty coral and coral satin balm. Let's see. This is not bad, but mm, probably wouldn't reach out to it. I have so many lipsticks and I have to be really blunt and cutthroat if I'm not going to use it. It's very similar to the other one. If I'm not going to use it, I'm going to pass it on to somebody else that will. These Tom Fords I love. I gotta be careful that I don't get rid of them by mistake. I'm gonna put them right here. I wanna use them more. The minis. 
I don't know if you guys are seeing that. I don't want to move my camera too much because it falls. I'm going to put the minis up here. Okay. Do I have any more Dior's or Chanel's? I uh, don't think so. I don't think so. But um, what I'm going to do, not now, but what I'm going to do is going to look through it with more calm and get rid of like the shades that I know I'm not going to use. Or the former that I didn't like. Oh, look, look at this color. I have to put it in the front. And I love this formula. This color. Mm. It's like the perfect blue-red pirate. Love this shade. And I don't think they sell it anymore. But I don't know. I think it might be limited edition. I don't remember. But I love it. And this is not in order. This is Rouge Allure. Rouge Allure. Oh, because I took it from my vanity. So... 104, I mean 99, 104, 174, 176, 182. But this is Rouge Allure 107 or beige. This was special, a uh, special case. So I'm gonna put it on the front here because if I put it in the back, then I won't see it. This is Rouge Allure Lextre, same packaging but a little bit thinner. I already showed you this, but these are one of my newer ones. Are they? They don't have a number. So I don't know what number this one is. Alright, let's move on because I'm going to get distracted. I have, in this in this pile in the middle, I have a little bit of space here that I could put in. Other lipsticks that like are by themselves. I have these two from Dior, which I really like, but they're, they're fat. So I'm going to have to put them in the front. I'm going to put them here. These are, this came out in the fall of last year, I think so. I think it's the one that has like the... Um, design of like the buildings outside the french store the store in paris this is really pretty and the packaging is really pretty it's different this is the diorific 075 rouge capuchin and satin and 074 rose d'hiver in satin which is a more nude color this one's really pretty i use it more than the other one oops i'm gonna put the, those up here all right, uh, let me see. Oh, I have another Tom Ford. No, sorry, Chanel. Chanel Rouge Coco Balm, 924, fall for me. Mm, I'm not a, I mean, it's pretty, but it's a little bit too pink. And yeah, it's not a color that I'm going to go reach out. So I'm going to pass it on. Okay, back here, what can I put? I have these two suku here. Put it on the other door. This is suku is in Japanese, so let me show you the shade. I'm gonna put them together with the other ones to keep them in the same family. It's a really pretty, really nice formula. And this is like a burnt orange, brown. See, this color is kind of like the other one that I got rid of. It does look a little bit like tutu. Like the color of I don't know how to describe it, but this one is different. This one is more more brown. Like I don't know, it just looks it looks nicer. So I'm going to put it with the other ones in the other drawer. So you guys already saw. I have this Kevin Aquan. I've had it for so long. It's a beautiful color, Carliana. I've had this for many years, but you're gonna laugh at me, you're gonna make fun of me, you're gonna see I'm crazy. I've never used it. I've never used this color, maybe once. And it's, it still smells really good. I don't know, should I keep it? I've had it for so long, it doesn't look bad. It's a true red. And it's short, so I'm gonna have to put it in the front. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna try it, because it still smells good. Let's see. I know I said I was gonna be cutthroat, but it's kind of difficult, because it's still in good condition. It's a beautiful red. All right, I have um, a couple of Burberries. I have four Burberries. But if I put them back here, I won't see them. Let's see. I have... Oh, I have my Hermes lip oil. Only one shade. I love this lip oil. I'm going to put it... I have my Hermes here, but I'm going to put it here with the rest of my Hermes. And I don't have anything else that is by itself. I have some Sissy Paris, but that could go... Because it's too big to fit in here. I have two of them that are in that shape. 
Um, no, actually one. I thought I saw two. I have some of these that are so, so good. I have this one. This is a mini. Let me see what this is. This is shade 21. Le Fita Rouge 21. Oh, but that's like kind of purple. Kind of purplish. I'm going to pass it on. It's not a color that I am use a lot because it makes me look paler. I don't like it that much. And this one is Rose Shanghai, number 28. I'm also going to pass this, this one on because the color I'm not a fan of, but the formula, it was a little bit drying on me. I know they're lovely and they're they're popular. They're very good lipsticks, but not on me. So I'm going to pass it on. These, on the other hand, are amazing. I love them so, so much. These are the sheer um the Fito Rouge Shine. I got Sweet Chili, Sheer Blossom, and Sheer Nude. They're like a mix between lipstick and balms and lip gloss. They're so, so pretty. This is Sweet Chili, which is my favorite of the three, obviously. It is such a beautiful formula. And it's quite pigmented and glossy. I'm going to put those in the front here because I do use them a lot. That's where I had them before. And this is Sheer Blossom. And then the other one is almost, you can almost not see it. It's like Boy from Chanel. Very similar to Boy. But it's a different formula. I just love it. I'm going to put it here in the front. Because I do reach out to them a lot. I think I'm going to end up putting the Burberry back here. I know they're going to be there. So whenever I need them, I'll just reach out to them. I have four. Wait, do they fit? They don't fit. Oh, they do. They do fit. Okay, good. I have the uh, Delicate Rose. This one is Pearl the Red. This is beautiful. One of my favorite reds, actually. I love the packaging. <laughs> and then we have Pearl Oxblood. This one I'm going to pass on because it's a little bit dark. It's not a color that I tend to use. It's like it's like a plum color and it's a shade my mom likes and then I have here Olympia Red this one I wear in my winter look and it's called Olympia Red but it's actually like a like a dark hot pink kind of color I don't have many lipsticks of this shade so I'm going to keep it it's not really red Although it's called Olympia Red. I'm going to put it back here. Actually, I'm going to put this here and then the lip oil. I'm going to put it there. Hermes lip oil. I'm going to put it here because I'm thinking of including it in my favorites. And I'm going to film that very soon. I have this lip gloss from Sisley. It's so pretty. I'm going to put this in the front with the rest of the Sisley. Okay, now we're going to go into the... Let me wipe this off. Hold on a second. I'm going to wipe all this off. I think I'm going to go with Charlotte Tilbury right now. Oh, I have these two. Oh, I could have put this back here. But no, I want to use them more. This is from Killian. Satin Nude in Bed. I'm going to put it right here in the front because I'm going to use it. I want to use it real soon. I have to use these more. And uh, Givenchy Carmen Escarpa. I think that's how you pronounce it. Another red. It shouldn't surprise you. I could do a video with all my red lipsticks. But that's going to be like three hours long. Like this video is going to be like three hours long. So I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to put these together. Because they're kind of related. Kind of. Like they're by themselves. All right, I'm going to go in with the, before I do this, I'm going to show you these four. 
from Gucci. I'm gonna put this in the front because they're they're like really thin, and I do reach for them a lot. This is Margaret Ruby. This is also a very lovely formula. I have my coolish Rachel, my coolish, my cousin Rachel. I think I haven't used this one yet. I love the shape too. It's like so thin. You could fit it anywhere. Kind of like a cigarette. Although I don't smoke. Then we have Goldie Red. Oh, I love this one. I'm going to use this more too. And then we have Lynette Stone, which is one of my favorite lipsticks. I've used this lipstick so much time, so many times. This, oh, snap. Oh, okay, good. I didn't hit the tip. This one is very similar to Chanel Boy. I've always compared them together. Very similar. Although the one from Gucci is more, a little bit, mm, I think it's more pigmented and less glossy, I think. I'm going to put these in the front right here. Where they always been. Here together, like good friends. All right. Let's go into Charlotte Tilbury. I have um, a lot here. So let me put them all up here. I might not get rid of any of them because I love them all. All these are the ones from a uh, special collection that she named after women that she loved or admired. Patsy Red, which is named after her mother, um, I believe. It's a gorgeous red. I'm not get ready, getting rid of these. I'm going to put them in the front. My favorite is... Is it this one? Glowing Jen is my favorite of the lit, of the group. After, Jenna, after Jennifer Aniston. And I love the packaging. So pretty. Snap. And then I'm going to put this in the top, top front. Because it's my favorite Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Then we have Viva La Vergara. Which is after Sofia Vergara. And I had one after Susan. Susan Sarandon. Here it is. Red Hot Susan. This one's gorgeous. So you only got four from that collection. And then we have... These three are really pretty. They're... I love the packaging as well. This is Sweet Blossom. Rose Wish. And Lucky Cherry. So let's do Lucky Cherry. Rose Wish. I think this one I'm gonna... I'm gonna declutter this one. Because Viva La Vergara is very similar. And... Although I'm gonna get separate the trio, but that's alright. And Sweet Blossom... Similar to Glowing Gen. Let me compare them. Let's see if they're the same. Then I'll just get rid of it. Lucky Cherry I'll keep. Glowing Gen is a little bit lighter. But they're very similar. These two. I'll get rid of Sweet Blossom. And I'll keep Glowing Gen. And then I remember it was a this one, New Romance. I think this is like the newest I got in from her. It's not new, but it's new to me. Newer to me. It's the newest that I have. It's like a really nice nude. That one I'm keeping. And then these two is from the... Oh, no, wait. This is not the newest one. This is the newest one. I didn't dream. And then I have Iron Dream and Pillow Talk Intense. It's too intense. I think intense is like a pink color. Oh, no, it's not pink. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's a little bit too dark for a right taste. That was probably a gift with purchase because I wouldn't go out and buy a color like that. Iron Dream, I remember, that I loved. It's you. It's kind of similar, but it's not because once you, you um, swipe it, swatch it, it's a little bit different. And it has like the really beautiful... 
design of like kisses of lips and it smells really good i'm gonna put that one behind hot susan and then i have this one this is like a bomb which you want to take out you can't put back in i'm gonna pass it on i wasn't a fan of the formula it was a little bit too sticky pass it on oh i have another lip gloss from sisley a pink one I have another Charlotte Tilbury. I keep on appearing. This one is Mrs. Mrs. Kisses. Mm, that one's similar to Island Dream, the design. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty, but I'm going to pass it on because I have, you know, I, I was going to say I have a lot of that color, but I have a lot of red and oranges and I still keep them all. But this one is a little bit more matte. And I already have a lot of nudes. So I have these thin ones that I haven't used yet. Just came together. I think I might have to use them. Let's do this first. This is Lucky Diamonds. Ooh, this one's really pretty. It has like a shimmer. Let's do it again because the way I did it there, you can't see it. See that? This is really pretty. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna put it right here in the front. Literally thin ones I'm gonna put in the front. And then we have Red Wishes, Love Flame. And I have two Red Wishes, oh nice. <laughs> Let me see if I have anything that's brand new. So, okay, this one's brand new but the tip is messed up so let's see the other one is brand new as well yeah it looks pretty new i'm gonna pass this one on and i'll keep the messed one and you know what i'm gonna pass on the messed up one to my mom <laughs> and i'll keep the nice one she's probably not gonna use it much because she's not using red so all right um and then all right, this is my Charlotte Tilbury is done. Now we're gonna go into, I have Byredo, which are really nice. I have three, I have four. Let me see, I have Divorce. I don't know if they fit through the hole because of the shape, but we're gonna try. Oh yeah, they do fit. And I'm gonna speed this up because it's gonna be too long. Red armchair gorgeous I have gonna I'm gonna put them upside down so I could see the color I don't know that's I gotta find out if that's good for the lipstick if they're bad is that bad for the lipsticks amber and furs I remember I love this one another nude like a nude color but it has like a shimmer to it a sheen to it okay the camera is picking it up yeah this is beautiful And then we got La Flamme, which you can imagine, it's a really nice orange, brownish orange. Mm -hmm. I have my La Bouche Rouge or La Rouge Bouche. <laughs> in collab with Ali Andrea that I had in the other drawer and I took it out. I'm gonna put it in this drawer. I'm gonna put it next to the Givenchy one here. So, let's move the Killian and the Givenchy here and then I'm gonna put that next to it. So they could kind of go together because they're by themselves and so is La Perla. Oh my God, look at that orange. I kind of save these things because I don't want to, I don't want to like, um, bring them out or use them out, but then they, then, they, then they go bad because I didn't use them. This is shade 104. It's so pretty. I'm going to put it in the front. I'm going to use it a lot. I'm going to use it more this, this next year, I promise. I have another Charlotte Tilbury. This is Love Flame. Oh, it's the same one. I just didn't get to show you. Love Flame. 
Oh wait, because I have two. Maybe that was a gift with purchase or something. I wouldn't buy the same. Because they're both brand new. Let me declutter one of them. I don't need all, I don't need cut repeats. Yep. I'll pass it on. Okay, so then here I have my Pat McGrath. Now I have extra space here, but I'll organize it once I'm done. I have a few of Pat McGrath. This is from the Bridgerton. These are, I think these are from the Bridgerton. I keep on forgetting. Yeah, it's from the Bridgerton. Elson 5. I haven't used these yet. I got them not too long ago. Elson 8. I cannot put these through here because of the of the bow. So what I'm going to do here in this strip in the middle in this strip in the middle I think I'm going to put like the, the chocolate chipper two of them fit in the same hole I thought they did but they don't um I think I'm going to put the the Killian the Givenchy the La Perla and the one from Ali Ali. The Givenchy I'm going to put in the end. And then I'll put La Perla. And the Ali Andrea. Okay, good. And then here, and then front. Um, I'll put the three from Bridgerton that, that have that bow. And, I mean the lip. The bow and the lip. That um, that wouldn't fit in the holes. So, Elson Five, I already showed you, and Negligé. I'm gonna put those in the front. I do love the TV series. And then this is, I think this is the balm, lip fetish lip balm. Yes, this is the one that's clear. That you put it under and over any of them, and it just gives it. It just makes it more beautiful. I'm going to put it in the front. And then let me show you real quick. Because I want to finish this video. It's going to be too long. Um, I have some here. This is Elson. I have Elson 2 twice. What the? Oh, because it's the same. Oh, Elson 5. I was like, wait. Did I have the same color? This is Elson 2. But this one, I'm going to pass on. Because I didn't remember that, that matte formula. No, no good for me. And I have to get rid of stuff, so. These I like. These I'm keeping all of them. I, re I think I'm going to keep all of them. These are like the really soft, balmy ones. That's really pretty. Yeah, it's really pretty. I'm going to keep this. This one is Skin Flicks. Skin Sane. These are very similar. I think I'm gonna declutter this one. Cause I'm not gonna they're very similar, but this one has like a sheen to it. I'm gonna pass this one on. I need space. I need to organize myself. This one is flush fatal. Um, I think I'm going to declutter this one as well. Oh, it has like some shimmer in it. My mom wouldn't wear that. The more you rub it, like the more shimmer comes out. But it's very similar to to the one from Byredo. So yeah, I'll pass it on. And I'm gonna run out of battery, so I gotta speed this up. This is Bud Blood Rush. This one's pretty pretty. I'm not gonna. I cannot get rid of any reds. Like I love reds, unless they're matte and they're drying. Okay, and these are the lip balmy ones. The these in pink. I have temptress. These I really like. They're like the formula I love. It's very balmy, but it still has pigment. Temptress. Electric Lotus. This one I'm gonna pass on actually. It's this one here. It's like a carnation pink that I'm not a fan of. 
um bella amour this one's really pretty it's like a pretty purple i'm running out of square footage here Ooh, it's pretty i'm gonna pass it on though because i already have a couple of shades like that and it's not a shade that i tend to use and then we have love interest another one it's like a hot pink yeah i'm passing that on I don't tend I tend not to use shades like that. And then these three are Blow Up, Flesh 3, and Wild Cherry. Let's do Wild Cherry. See, that's a color that I would use. And then Flesh 3. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then blow up definitely yes a hundred percent yes i love it and then i have a few that are like this is a refill of the bouche rouge i don't have a case for it but it's a refill. This is shade I don't know what because I don't have the name. Oh here, nude red. I'm gonna put this um here in the back next to the other one. This is a mini from Pomegraph Fembot. It's a pretty color, but it's like that matte formula, which I don't like. Passing it on. And then I have these. Another mini. This is what a lip balm. No, yeah, like a clear one. This, although I have one, I'm gonna keep it. It's dirty. I have to clean it. But I do use this, so I'm gonna put it next to next to the one I already have here. And then I have a few from Bobby Brown, which I'm gonna put in the other drawer because that's where I keep my Bobby Brown. This is a mini of red Parisian Parisian red, which I believe I have the original, like the big size. If I do, I'm gonna pass this on. It's gorgeous, but I don't need to have two of them. And then I have these new from... Oh, look, another Bobbi Brown. The Supernova. It's like a burnt dark orange. I like it. I love it. But I'm going to put it in the other drawer with the rest of my Bobbi Brown. I have these new ones from the Gwen Stefani brand that I haven't used. I know, I know. I have to use it. The lipstick and the lip gloss. I think it's a gorgeous red. I see... I see her and I think of red lipstick because she's always wearing red lipstick almost all the time. It's a beautiful red. I see why she would come out with a color like this. It is so her and then the lip gloss. This I'm going to try to put in the front somewhere because I want to remember. But I'm going to put it in the other drawer actually. Um, I'm, I have to remember to use this. And then I have this from a refill. Oh, from Fenty. You know, I know like a lot of people liked it. But I don't know. I didn't see like I don't reach out to it but then this color is so pretty why don't I reach out to it it's like that doo doo color again <laughs> um I'll keep it because it's, it's relatively new I haven't had it for that long and then I have a refill with another color this is I don't know what color it is but it's like another nude color I gotta see if they're similar I'm just gonna pass on yeah they're very similar but it's not entirely different. Not not the same. This one's more pinkish. That one's more brown. I'll keep it. I'll keep it because they're, I haven't had it for too long. And then this is a little lip gloss from Charlotte Tilbury. This is shade Seduction. So this I can keep and I'll put it in with the other ones right here. All right, so I got rid of a few, actually. Let me show you what I got rid of. I got rid of all of these right here. Not bad, not bad. I feel really good about myself. Here, I'm really tired. It's really late, and my fat, my eyes is, are swollen. My face is swollen. My eyes are swollen. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to finish up. This video is going to be so, so long, but I had to do it and I got rid of a lot of things and I was able to organize. I'm thinking of doing a video of just showing like everything, not decluttering anymore or reorganizing, just show you, showing you everything door by door 
if that's something that you want to see, let me know down below. And I'll definitely do that. I'm still missing my eyeshadows, but I don't think I'm going to declutter much from there. But I said the same thing about the lipsticks. Um, maybe I'll do the eyeshadow declutter some other time and show you guys. But let me know if that's something that you, that you want to see. And I'll definitely do it for you guys. So this is the vlog for today. I mean, get in a better position. This this is my vlog for today thank you for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog bye